Well, hey guys, and welcome to my April 10th DVD update. Uh, it has been a very long time since I did one of these, and I am uh, sorry for that. And this one I'm just uploading real quick because I want to upload this before I go away to Florida to for my birthday. And uh, I will film a vlog while I'm there, but unfortunately Cam will not be there to help me with the vlog or anything. But when I come back, I hope to have uh, a lot more... Uh, stuff to show you. This is just a mini DVD update on what I've gotten. I've just uh, been a little bit busy with uh, like school and stuff and trying to... I, I just haven't had that much time to get stuff so stay tuned after the video and I'll explain everything that is going on. So let's get to the update. Now the first one I have here, I used to have this but then I uh, I sold it to Suncoast before they went, they went out of business and I th was kind of bummed that I did it because I don't know, it was just something I really liked. And this was the uh, Hulk Hogan uh, Complete Anthology. And this was like, I used to have this way back when I was a big fan of uh, the WWE and stuff. But um, Hulk Hogan's like one of my favorites, so I just thought, I really wish I still had that. So I bought it, again. And this is a four disc set of all, pretty much I think every single match that Hulk Hogan has ever been in. If not all of them. So I'll just give you a little run through of what this looks like. If you're a wrestling fan, this is definitely something to pick up. It's got the, I think it's upside down. Yeah, Hulk Hogan right there. Uh, it tells you right here, you get the disc one, uh, the chapters right there. Hulk Hogan in there. And then, um, I forget which one on, uh, I think that's King Kong Bunny. The WrestleMania 3 one, when he faced Andre the Giant, that's my favorite one. Right there, and then this is Disc 2, the Chapters 2, that has uh, the uh, Randy Savage on it. These are all, like, the matches that he wrestled, like, in the 90s, when Hulk Hogan was, like, Hulk Hogan. And then it has the formation of the NWO. Um, I think that's, like, all from that one. And then this is the Disc 3. Uh, the chapters, and this was when uh, Hulk Hogan became like Hollywood Hulk Hogan. And that's a good one where he faced The Rock. I think that was WrestleMania um, 20, I want to say. I'm not sure, though. And then it just has Hogan Knows Best, which that didn't run too long. So like I said, if you're a fan of Hulk Hogan, you're a fan of wrestling, definitely pick this. I think it's broken. Uh, definitely pick this up. Uh, next one I have was one I picked up when I was at, uh, popped into Hot Topic real quick, real quick see if I get myself a shirt. And Hot Topic, I want to talk about Hot Topic for a second. Hot Topic has become a, a shit store to go to anymore. And um, I'm like really getting pissed off with Hot Topic because you go in there, if you're a heavy metal fan, if you're just a rock fan, anything like that, you can get like a Rob Zombie shirt, you get a Green Day shirt or anything. Now it has become more about Lady Gaga, Kesha, Blink-182. Fuck that, man. Hot, hot Topic used to be Hot Topic. Now it's just we're all those freaking just emo, like, I don't know. It just pisses me off, but whatever. Next one I have is Invader Zim. Uh, Invader Zim, this only has... Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 16 episodes on here, which I don't think that's the complete, all the episodes, I think this is most of the episodes, and this is what's Operation Doom, uh, I thought it was Operation Doom's Day, this is just Operation Doom, it's just one disc, right there, and this has, this is pretty much all the good episodes on it, like, uh, the Fry Cook, what came from all that space career day battle dib the nightmare begins which is the first episode uh the uh one where uh dib's brother uh Dim, dib's sister is like addicted to pork or something uh the voting of the doom hobo 13 which is another good one walk for your lives the mystery mysteries future future dib plague of babies bloaty's pizza hog which I don't know, if you've never seen Invader Zim, though, it's a very weird show to understand. Like, you have to watch The Nightmare Begins first, and then watch all the episodes from there. 
And for some reason, this isn't like in order. Like the nightmare begins is like the um, like the fifth episode in, and it should be the first one. Like I said, though, if you ever seen Invader Zim, definitely pick this up. I think you can still get it at Hot Topic or Spencer's. I'm not sure. Well, the next one I have was one that I uh, I thought I was gonna like, but I really didn't like, and it was uh, Monsters. And if, if you've seen the trailer for this, uh, this was a uh, really I don't know. I was expecting more of like a like a very like kind of like a Cloverfield, uh, Godzilla kind of movie, like with like actual monsters like battling and not battling, but just like destroying stuff. But I don't know. This was really weird. The monsters were weird. They do look like that. I mean, this has been out for a while, so I won't really ruin anything for you. But it's like this was pretty much like. NASA went to space, and then they got, uh, the, the fucking spaceship came back, and it was all, I'm like, a couple, like, couple years after, stuff started to grow, aliens started popping up and stuff, really didn't get the whole concept of this movie, but, uh, and then a, a journalist, I think, what was it, yeah, a U.S. journalist wants to, you know, get across, um, he escorts a, uh, American tourist through the infected zone. Uh, to the safety of the U.S. border, and then along the way they see the aliens and stuff. But, I mean, I mean, they do say a remarkable achievement. Uh, Monsters is not your average alien invasion movie. Untrue. I thought this was very, very kind of, like, weird. Next one I have was one I picked up at Best Buy for only ten bucks, and it was amazing. This was Beavis and Butthead Volume 3. And this has a lot of good ones on it, too. Again, this is three discs. This is just like the other one I have, which you've seen in a couple of the update videos. And this is um, Volume 3 and then another with the disc here. And I always like these. These are always cool. And this is the, uh, this is, uh, I'll, go, I'll go to Disc 1 first, which this is a, I forget what painting this is called. And on the back they're fighting, fighting over a diploma. This has a uh, no service, yard sale, buy beer, on strike, take a lap, pierce, where they try to peer, pierce their own ears. And then this one where, it's, I don't really know what that is for. I think that's another painting or something, photograph. And this has Citizen's Arrest on it, wood shop, shopping cart, which I really like shopping cart. Uh, work is death, graduation day, leave it to Beavis, Beavis and Butthead are dead, which is the last episode of Beavis and Butthead. But they're supposed to be bringing uh, Beavis and Butthead back. Um, I think like in July, and then this has all the music videos on it. There's a really good music video with uh, Alice Cooper, and the Poison one's really good on here. And then they give you a behind-the-scenes look on how they make Beavis and Butthead, the original Frog Baseball one. So definitely check this out if this is still at Best Buy or if you can get it online. Definitely get this. I need, still need to get um, Volume Two, which I saw, but. I don't know why I didn't pick it up. The next one I have was a movie that was extremely good and it was well worth the wait. And this is uh, Adam Green's Hatchet 2. And I probably a lot of people have this on their DVD collection videos. And this one was well worth the wait from watching the first one and then waiting for the second one to come out. And when I first heard about it, I wasn't really sure what it would be like. But all the phrases are right. Twice the gore. And then uh, this one from the New York Times. Uh, a homage to slaughter history. Hatchet 2 raises the body count of the original, which it does. And Kane Hodder, who plays um, uh, Victor Crowling. Uh, you know, this gives you pretty much the whole backstory of, of Victor Crowling and how they uh, killed him, then how his dad went about it. Um, and just uh, this, this does, this gives you a whole behind the scene look of it. And then it picks up directly after the first hatchet in the swamps and everything. And this also has, I forget what his name is, uh, Tony Todd from uh, Candyman. He plays a, kind of like a, a voodoo shaman kind of guy who wants to get, uh, wants to uh, kill Victor Crowling, but he wants to like find Victor Crowling and stuff. Um, and uh, like I said, you can also, this is the unrated director's cut, but I think... If I'm not sure, I think you can change it from 
regular cut and then to director's cut or the unread or the unrated director's cut. And this was just amazing cover art too. And on the back, I like it because it's been out for a while too. So if you haven't seen it, the giant chainsaw scene where the chainsaw that Victor Crowling has is about the size of my bed. So like I said, that was just a mini DVD update for you guys before I go away to Florida. I'll be in Florida from the uh, the 13th until the 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th, the 18th of uh, Monday, I believe that is. And I will film stuff. This is the last DVD update that you will see with this camera. We tried to film a vlog with this, but Cam's camera wouldn't render the video files weren't showing up on my computer so we just we shut the whole thing off and I'm gonna get a new camera and I'll be filming with that in Florida so thank you guys for subscribing so much we're almost at 400 subscribers only 10 more to go so thank you all for subscribing and I look forward to going to Florida and shooting all the stuff in Florida and um, I'll tell you guys when the vlogs up uh, don't forget to follow us on Twitter I'll uh, put that right here. You can follow me. You can follow both me and Cam on Twitter, and you can follow Cam on Twitter uh, separately and go to our um, uh, Blogspot uh, channel, which is under our website address. So go check that out, and I'll see you guys later.